this this ability, this this gift that Steve has. Steve's power is that he creates trends. Hi, thanks for dropping by. So as the sun goes down slowly, that's a big improvement on the first Alfresco video I made where it was totally grey, but we've got some sunshine, we've got some great ingredients, we've got some mango, we've got plenty of chilies, we've got a selection of amazing ingredients that are really going to hit the spot. So let's have a little look at the ingredients here. Fantastic. Let's get the ghee melted. So as the ghee melts, let's add several dried red chilies, some peg packer of cinnamon leaves, some cumin seed, enough for six portions, we've got some chili flakes, and some fennel. It's always good to use fennel with spicy dishes. Just going to sizzle that off already, that oil is beautifully seasoned and the neighbours are going to be in love with my food even if they don't taste it. So the aromas are filling the local area. Let's turn the heat up a little bit and let's do the ginger and garlic paste. All the ingredients are in the description of the video. We've got some freshly ground fresh chilies. Some green chili, so nice and spicy but not overwhelming. We're going to add the onions now as well. So nice and patient with the onions. We'll come back in around 10 minutes once all that's sweated down. Try and always add the salt to the onions as well. It helps them cook evenly. So we've just got the onions softened. Next in with the chicken. It's a kilo of chicken. And definitely needs to be cooked right through. And by the chicken, by the time the chicken's um, cooked right through, those onions will be beautifully caramelised. We'll come back. <laughs> nice aroma there. We'll come back in about 10 minutes. So the chicken's no longer raw. So next, there's some freshly ground coriander here. Plenty of it, very aromatic, coarsely ground as well. Probably around two and a half, three tablespoons there. We've got about a tablespoon of turmeric powder and a little cumin. And a tablespoon of chilli powder. We're also going to add the mango. Nice and tangy. You can add a little bit of sugar if you want. It's a nice exotic dish. So we're just going to Use quite a generous plug of lemon juice and we're just going to stir that all in and we'll come back in about five minutes when the mango which is very unripe still very firm a lot of people tend to use the smaller very green hard mangoes for these dishes but this is fine it's a nice and green hard mango That mango softens. What I'm going to do is I've got a litre of passata here, blended tomatoes. I'm going to add about 200 mils at a time 
make sure it um, gets sizzled in and I'm going to continue to do that until the whole litre has been used so add, mix, get to a good temperature and do the same again until you've run out of uh, either blended tomatoes or cassata we'll come back in about five minutes so that's reducing nicely next in with some kasuri mati this is six portions so we're going to need a tablespoon of garam masala just stir that in and i'll just carry on reducing it and we shall come back and have a look what that looks like once it's ready so that's the consistency i'm looking for nice thick sauce let's turn off the gas and as always let your curry rest for a couple of moments before serving and that's it guys so thank you very much for watching i've got plenty of great outdoor videos coming up in the next um five or six days and let's just hope the weather stays on our side thanks for watching feel free to like share and subscribe cheers